strong and stable. 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 Where nurses are unable to put food on the table. Strong and stable. Strong and stable. Two general elections in the last three years, a referendum, after which the PM clears off and resigns an ever-growing wealth divide, the biggest since Victorian times. Is that strong and stable? If that strong and stable, then give me instability. Give me instability. Where children don't live in poverty, where the unemployed don't have to work for free, where nurses don't rely on charity to be able to feed their family. Give me instability. Give me instability in a country which warrants my pride, not one that gives tax dodgers a free ride or driving mentally ill people to suicide. Not one that turns its back on the sick and the disabled. If that's strong and stable, give me instability. Give me instability where public services aren't being cut, where libraries and fire stations aren't being shut, where hospitals aren't understaffed, where young voters can be asked to use their vote and use their voice to cross that box and make their choice. And if they do, they'll reshape the nation. That sounds like an exaggeration, but it's not. Believe me, they have the power to change it all. So stand up and be counted. Speak out, stand tall and give me instability. Give me instability, not a racist foreign secretary who hopes to God that you won't see the menace behind the jollity. Give me instability, not a trigger happy defence secretary who's only too happy to use WMDs, who can't wait to immediately condemn us into a war that will indefinitely, definitely end us. Give me light in the darkness that seems so bloody endless. Cause I've got the faith but I need the defenders Not a PM who holds hands with sex offenders And makes deals with fascists and death squad dictators And sells arms to tyrants indirectly funding hatred Which all too recently has come back to bite us Turning concert halls to bloodbaths and humans to detritus Enough is enough But don't give me all that about rivers of blood Give me people who are able to nip it in the bud. Give me properly funded local neighbourhood police forces not forced to shut the stable doors after the exit of the horses. Give me a country open to all faiths. Give me a country where the people are safe. Give me a country where the people are free. Give me instability. Give me instability in a home open to refugees which recognises it could be you or me all too bloody easily. Give me somewhere that believes in diplomacy. Give me a PM, not scared of a debate who then expects us to trust her to negotiate. Give me a voice on the global stage that I like the sound of. Give me a nation that I can be proud of. Give me caring, compassionate communities. Give me a kingdom built on unity. Give me courage. Give me strength. Give me the bravery to take this opportunity.